It's really about the time it takes. So backups, everyone who's ever had to do a backup to tape in particular, maybe to disk, using a backup application, it takes time, whether that be your incremental backups overnight or your full backups at the weekend. It takes a considerable amount of time. Whereas a snapshot is virtually instantaneous. We can do that with no overhead or very little overhead and no performance impact on the array. To make snapshots efficient, you have to do it with very little overhead. And we do that through the, the implementation of the file system, pointer-based to the, point, the blocks of data that exist through a series of pointers. We have the capability of doing zero-copy cloning. So that basically means that if you want to take a copy of a server that you've created to present out to somewhere else, perhaps from a template in, in, in VMware, it's going to take up no space. Because all we're doing with that original volume, maybe a terabyte in size, the same pointers that you're now creating this new volume for are pointing to the same blocks of data that exist. And until those blocks of data change, there is no additional space consumption. And restore. A restore is, again, a very simple operation to reverse. And when you're doing that in a virtualized environment as well, that can be even simpler. The key thing, though, is going to be about um, reducing the amount of data that you may lose in a disaster. And so when you're replicating from one nimble array to another, it's about what is the minimum, what is the replication period that you're replicating one snapshot and another from one location to another. In this particular example, we're saying we're replicating every hour. So that is your data loss. So rather than doing your once a day backup and now you have a 24 hour potential data loss period, or then you have to add on when your backup starts, when your backup finishes, how soon those tapes are taken off site or how soon that data is now replicated off site. With a array based replication, Again, all our limitation is going to be what is the bandwidth that we're going to have to replicate this data over and what is the change rate. And because we can do that extremely efficiently, we can do that over existing uh, network connectivity. In terms of recovery from disaster, because you have this application consistent image of a volume that's been replicated from one site to another, it's very easy to take a copy of that information at your disaster recovery location and either mount it for testing purposes, perhaps taking a copy to be used for uh, dev test, um, but also be able to test your recovery processes very simply uh, without um, worrying about what's going on within the primary data, data center. 